Good evening and welcome to Hungry Report, start of public media and one's foreign language news shows. I'm Cenga Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary in the Carpathian Basin. Let's begin. Hungary was among the first to come forward when Turkey asked for help from the international community due to the earthquake, said the president after receiving the Hungarian rescue teams returning from the earthquake hit area. As Katalin Novak put it, we Hungarians said that we can help and we want to help and we owe this primarily to those who participated in the rescue. Prime Minister Viktor Orbán received Kyrgyz President Zadir Zaropov in his office. The main topic of the meeting was the war in Ukraine. The parties agreed on the need for a peaceful solution and that the sanctions caused serious difficulties for the countries of Europe and Asia. Viktor Orbán emphasized that decision makers in Brussels should take a much less bureaucratic approach to the development of relations with Kyrgyzstan and Central Asia because the region is of strategic importance in terms of world security and the economy. The Berlin government continues to prevent Siemens from de 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 delivering control system required for the new Pax units. Peter Siarto spoke about this in Paris after he had a meeting with the French minister responsible for energy affairs. The control system of the new Pax nuclear power plant would be supplied by a German-French consortium. The necessary approval has already been granted by the French authorities, but the German government is withholding permission. Peter Siato emphasized the Pax expansion is crucial for Hungary's long-term energy security. <coughs> The state secretary responsible for families announced the establishment of the Children's Path Methodology Centre in order to help provide more effective care for children with different or delayed development. Agnes Hornung said the purpose of the institution is to support parents from birth to school age in understanding their children's development, in recognizing developmental differences and to show the way to finding the right specialists. She added the task of the centre is to preserve collected knowledge, deepen it and keep it up to date in the light of the latest scientific results. <coughs> and that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hungry Reports every night after 11 o'clock news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening. <coughs>